The King Charles Spaniel, also known as the English Toy Spaniel, is a small dog breed of the Spaniel type. In 1903, the Kennel Club combined four separate Toy Spaniel breeds under this single title. The other varieties merged into this breed were the Blenheim, Ruby and Prince Charles Spaniels, each of which contributed one of the four colors available in the breed. Thought to have originated in East Asia, Toy Spaniels were first seen in Europe during the 16th century. They became linked with English royalty in the time of Queen Mary I and were made famous by their association with King Charles II. Members of the breed were owned by Queen Victoria. The King Charles Spaniel and the other types of Toy Spaniels were crossbred with the pug in the early 19th century to reduce the size of the nose, as was the style of the day. The 20th century saw attempts to restore lines of King Charles Spaniels to the breed of Charles II's time. These included the unsuccessful Toy Trawler Spaniel and the now popular Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. The Cavalier is slightly larger, with a flat head and a longer nose, while the King Charles is smaller, with a domed head and a flat face. Historically the breeds that were merged into the King Charles Spaniel were used for hunting, due to their stature they were not well suited. They have kept their hunting instincts, but do not exhibit high energy and are better suited to being lapdogs. The modern breed is prone to several health problems, including cardiac conditions and a range of eye problems. History. It is thought that the toy spaniels that eventually became the King Charles Spaniel originated in East Asia, primarily Japan. They may share a common ancestry with the Pekingese and Japanese Chin. The red and white variety of toy spaniel was first seen in paintings by Titian, including the Venus of Urbino, 1538, where a small dog is used as a symbol of female seductiveness. Further paintings featuring these toy spaniels were created by Palma Vecchio and Paolo Veronese during the 16th century. These dogs already had high domed heads with short noses, although the muzzles were more pointed than they are today. These Italian toy spaniels may have been crossed with local small dogs such as the Maltese and also with imported Chinese dogs. The earliest recorded appearance of a toy spaniel in England was in a painting of Queen Mary I and King Philip. Mary, Queen of Scots, was also fond of small toy dogs, including spaniels, showing the fondness of the British royalty for these types of dogs before Charles II. King Henry III of France owned a number of small spaniels, which were called Damberts. Although one of the translations of John Caius's 1570 Latin work Aconibus Britannicus talks of a new type of spaniel brought out of France, rare, strange, and hard to get, this was an addition in a later translation and was not in the original text. Caius did discuss the spaniel gentle, or comforter though, which he classified as a delicate thoroughbred. This spaniel was thought to originate from Malta and was sought out only as a lapdog for dainty dames. Captain John Saris may have brought back examples of toy spaniels from his voyage to Japan in 1613, a theory proposed by Commodore Matthew C. Perry during his expeditions to Japan on behalf of the United States in the mid-19th century. He noted that dogs were a common gift and thought that the earlier voyage of Captain Saris introduced a Japanese type of spaniel into England. The King Charles Spaniel, also known as the Description the King Charles has large dark eyes, a short nose, a high domed head and a line of black skin around the mouth. On average, it stands 9 to 11 inches, 23 to 28 centimeters, at the withers, with a small but compact body. The breed has a traditionally dark tail. It has the long pendulous ears typical of a spaniel, and its coat comes in four varieties, traded shares with its offshoot, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. The four sets of markings reflect the four former breeds from which the modern breed was derived. Black and tan markings are known as King Charles, while Prince Charles is tricolored, Blenheim is red and white, and Ruby is a single-colored solid rich red. The King Charles black and tan markings typically consist of a black coat with mahogany tan markings on the face, legs and chest, and under the tail. The tricolored Prince Charles is mostly white with black patches and mahogany tan markings in similar locations to the King Charles. The Blenheim has a white coat with red patches and should have a distinctive red spot in the center of the skull. King Charles Spaniels are often mistaken for Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. There are several significant differences between the two breeds, the principle being the size. While the Cavalier weighs on average between 13 to 18 pounds, 5.9 to 8.2 kilograms, the King Charles is smaller at 8 to 14 pounds, 3.6 to 6.4 kilograms. In addition, their facial features, while similar, are distinguishable. The Cavalier's ears are set higher and its skull is flat, while the King Charles's is domed. Finally, the muzzle length of the King Charles tends to be shorter than the typical muzzle on a Cavalier. The American Kennel Club has two classes, English Toy Spaniel and English Toy Spaniel, while in the UK, the Kennel Club places the breed in a single class. Under the Federation Sinologique Internationale groups, the King Charles is placed in the English Toy Spaniel section within the Companion and Toy Dog group, along with the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. 
the nature and characteristics of the breed. The modern English toy spaniel is a cheerful, good-natured and loyal dog. Having got a puppy of this breed, you will not regret your choice for a second. He will always bring you only positive emotions and will easily become a friend for each member of your family, but also make friends with other pets. In addition, he will not hit his face in the mud during the arrival of guests, with whom he will behave like a real English gentleman. If you suddenly find melancholy or melancholy, then the little spaniel will certainly try to cheer you up and restore good spirits. After all, it is not without reason that the representatives of this breed have been called comforters for a long time. Maintenance and care. Representatives of this breed will get along well both in a cozy city apartment and in a country house with an adjacent plot of land. Despite the fact that the King Charles Spaniel is perceived as a decorative dog, it is very active and quick-witted. Therefore, if possible, provide her with daily active walks with the opportunity to run off the leash and play with other dogs. The coat of the English Toy Spaniel can be straight or slightly wavy, glossy and silky to the touch. There is a thicker and longer frill on the trunk, chest and ears, and longer strands on the legs and feet. Molting is of medium intensity. In order to minimize hair loss, the English Toy Spaniel requires regular brushing with a stiff brush. Bathe your dog only if necessary, using a mild shampoo. Daily cleaning of the ears and eyes is essential for this breed. Like all short-faced dogs, English Toy Spaniels often snore during sleep and wheeze when breathing. You should not get a dog of this breed in countries with hot and humid climates. The most common conditions are heart disease, ear infections, dislocated knee joints, eye problems, and respiratory problems. The English Toy Spaniel must be protected from both extreme heat and cold. Training, it is recommended to socialize the dog in a timely manner and give it a general understanding of obedience. The English Toy Spaniel is a very quick-witted dog that strives by all means to earn praise from its owner. Although sometimes he too can be stubborn or capricious. Training should be conducted with a firmness, fairness and consistency. Although the English Toy Spaniel is not an active breed, it needs regular walks and moderate exercise. Due to its short legs, this dog gets tired quickly while running. Therefore, quiet walks for 30 minutes twice a day are more suitable for her. It is necessary to accustom the animal to longer walks gradually. With insufficient walking due to excess energy, pets are able to dirty houses, gnaw furniture, and spoil things. Also, with a lack of mobility, they can quickly gain excess weight and become obese. The breed is very hard to tolerate heat. Therefore, in the summer you need to choose shaded places for a walk and always take clean cool water with you. For the normal development of the dog, toys are needed. There should be several of them. Edible toys, sticks, bones made from edible materials, are useful for strengthening teeth. Inedibles are intended for the development of attention, intelligence, and just to brighten up the loneliness of the dog while there is no owner. It can be all kinds of balls, figures, pyramids. You can make a toy for your dog yourself or purchase an accessory at a pet store. The main thing when choosing toys is to take into account their safety and personal preferences of the pet. Urban myth. An urban legend claims that Charles II issued a special decree granting King Charles Spaniel's permission to enter any establishment in the UK, overriding no dog except guide dogs rules. A variant of this myth relates specifically to the Houses of Parliament. This myth is sometimes instead applied to the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. The UK Parliament website states, contrary to popular rumor, there is no act of Parliament referring to King Charles Spaniels being allowed anywhere in the Palace of Westminster. We are often asked this question and have thoroughly researched it. Similarly, there is no proof of any such law covering the wider UK. A spokesman for the Kennel Club said, this law has been quoted from time to time. It is alleged in books that King Charles made this decree, but our research hasn't tracked it down. Puppy selection and price. It is only necessary to buy a puppy of that spaniel from official breeders who can guarantee the purebred breed and provide all the necessary documentation. You can only take individuals that have already been weaned from their mother, more than 1.5 to 2 months. The puppy must meet all the requirements of the standard, he must not have any diseases, and must also have a vaccination card and a veterinary passport. The average cost of a puppy that is not brought up to participate in shows is about 800 US dollars. Representatives of the premium class will cost more than 1500 US dollars. Conclusion. The English Toy Spaniel is an aristocratic decorative dog with a sharp mind and quick wit. It is a pleasure to communicate with her. Therefore, those who want to have a dog devoid of aggression and are ready to find time to communicate with it can safely acquire this breed.